My name is Tony Lahoff, Senior Engineer of Kilkenny County Council. I've worked in the local party here for 15 years, working on a range of different engineering services. Previously, I've worked as Area Engineer in, Kilken in the Thomas Town Area Office for a period of about eight years, delivering the day-to-day -day essential services of the local authority. I'm currently working as Project Manager and Project Engineer on the redevelopment of the former Smith Explorer site here in the heart of the city. The city. The project is very challenging from an engineering perspective and certainly has opened me to a lot to a lot of new challenges. It's both challenging and very rewarding. The site which is located in this inner part of the city was operated as a brewery from 1710 until 2014. Uh, it was a decision by the to close the brewery site to centralise production in the, in the James Gate Brewery in Dublin has left a, heart, a hole in the centre of the city and the elected members of Kilkenny County Council surveyors, archaeologists and other specialist services that have been provided to us. Following extensive public consultation, a master plan for the overall development was approved in 2015. This has set out a framework for where the new buildings are going to be located on the site and where the extensive areas of public realm will, will be located. This, this uh, master plan involved as I said, a lot of public consultation, a lot of input from specialist services such as the archaeologists and that, that have come up with this, with this framework. Right. A development of this kind of scale is beyond the financial capabilities of Kilkenny County Council and hence we've entered into a 50-50 partnership with the National Treasury Management Agency through the Ireland Strategic Investment Fund to develop the new buildings on the site. This has allowed the council to retain an interest in the buildings that are being uh, built without having to take on the full financial responsibility for the project. The public realm areas within the site, they're going to be developed by Kilkenny County Council with funding from the, Ur the Urban Regeneration Development Fund, the European Regional Development Fund and from Fort Ireland. There are a number of aspects of the development that have led to significant challenges to this. The site is located within the zone of archaeological potential for the city and incorporates two national monuments, St Francis Abbey, 12th century Francisca Abbey, and also the city walls incorporating evidence to it. This, is, this has led to a requirement for extensive consultations with the National Monument Service and also dealing with the point of the project archaeologist guiding us through the process of such a site that's rich in such history and information. Also, from a mental perspective, we're located here on the banks of the River Door, a special area conservation and a special protection area. And it's important that, that, that the development does not adversely affect that special area conservation. That's has required extensive consultations with the National Parks and Wildlife Service and other environmental agencies. The former uh, industrial use of the site also presents challenges to us. We're standing here at the entrance into the Riverside Park project, or Riverside Garden. It's the first project that has been developed on the site. It was recently opened on the June like holiday weekend. That provides a new Riverside Walk that extends from Bateman Key right up to Bridge. This was one of the missing links along the existing Riverside Parkways uh, in, the, in, the, in the city. That development has also included the development of the, the long-awaited skate park in the city. The skate park, which is in May, has been very heavily used uh, since it first opened, with ranging from expert skateboarders to very young children on scooters and it's great to see such activity within the, within the site in the first project. It's the first opportunity the members of the public have had to get to gain access into the former brewery site. Work is also progressing on the redevelopment of the brew house building former brewery building which has been developed by the Abbey Court Partnership for use for office space. It will provide about 4,500 square metres of Grade A office accommodation within the city centre. The provision of office accommodation such as this on such a scale within the city centre is key to the vibrancy and future of the city with workers within that office building going to use the facilities within the city centre, use the shops, they use the cafes and restaurants. So very much the development here is about scale retail and other ancillary uses. From a residential perspective we're very keen that there needs to be life on the on this site uh, throughout the day. It cannot just be for, for, for 
office hours from 9 to 5. We want to see it busy in the evenings, we want to see people living here, we want to see people here on the weekends. So it's very much a mixed use development and we're currently looking at options for the of the residential aspect of the, of the site. Next project we progressed on the site is the development of the former Mayfair Ballroom as the new city library. The ballroom operated between 1943 and 1973. That project, the tenders have just been received and we'd expect construction to start on that project in, in late summer and to be developed by the end of 2020. With the grant of planning in February of this year for the new urban street and park, we're now progressing to the detailed design of that project. That'll really be the centrepiece of the overall development. A two and a half acre park is to be developed around the upstanding remains of St Francis Abbey. That, that space will be a, a new public park within the, within the heart of the city. It's being designed in such a way that it will facilitate the many festivals within the city. Uh, and so we would see it being a, becoming a very vibrant uh, part of the city and bringing life down to the Irish town area of the, of the city. The street, which will be of pedestrian and cyclist priority, will provide access into the new development spots uh, on, the, on the site. So we'd see we will now start progressing with the planning of the new buildings that are to be developed on the site. So really, to sum up, this is a, this is a big, big project for Kilkenny County Council. It's going to change the landscape of the heart of the, of the city and the real key challenge is how do we integrate this uh, big 10, 10 10.9 acre site, how do we integrate it back into the city so that the slips and laneways of the city extend into the site and that it's seamlessly integrated into the city. So I've certainly enjoyed my time working on the project and look forward to the challenges to come in the future on it.